This video is sponsored by Sketchfab. Stick around to see how you can get all of these premium cool models for free and also join an amazing community that gives you opportunities to showcase your own work, buy, sell, and also preview your 3D content on the internet. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So if you've ever wanted to get motion blur in your renders or probably you've shot a couple of videos and you would like to get motion blur on them, and you're wondering how to get these things done today we're looking at the beautiful app which you can actually get for free and this is known as Flowblow. Now the Flowblow app is an open source Windows app which actually makes use of AI to apply motion blur to your existing images, your existing renders and footages by simply using motion vectors. Now for you to be able to get this, you can actually go over to the page which I'm gonna put a link in the description and you can take a look at this. Meanwhile, for those who would like to see the source code, you can also get the source code right here on GitHub. And this is a, it's a beautiful app. It has been made possible by Zachary Ted and also Jia Deng. And these folks are the main custodian of this app as they've actually created Raft, which is an acronym for Recurrent RPS Field Transforms for Optical Flow. Now, in case you want to read more about these things, I'm going to put a link in the description so that you guys will be able to take a look at this. Meanwhile, if you also want to see some stuff about the Raft, you can also come through and download this and also, you know, get good with it. Now, the thing about the Raft is during the time of optical flow evaluation, they actually succeeded in doing some ground truth optical flow, which include working with a couple of data sets and using an open source project file, which is Sintel from the folks at Blender. And this actually consists of a lot of things. Now, for this file, they were able to get long sequences, large motions, complex lighting, varying materials, motion blurs, and so on and so forth. So with that source file, they were able to extract a couple of fields and, and these were some of the bases of the project. So for those who would like to read more about this, I'm just going to link this in the description so that you guys will be able to read these things up. And for those who would like to, you know, download the demo, you want to play with the demo, you can actually go through and see this. But then they've put all these things together as an app which you can get once you go over to each.io. So if you go over to each.io right now, you'll be able to download this and you can actually play with it. So in case you want to donate to them, you can donate to their Patreon, but this is an app that is existing. So I did see a couple of references and saw some teasers here and there, and I decided to try these things out so that you guys can know what you're going to get yourselves up against. First things first is that the file is only Windows based and it is one point something gig, and then you need a GPU to actually get these things working. More specifically, you need an NVIDIA GPU to actually get the best result because without an NVIDIA GPU, you will seriously rely on your CPU to get these things tested. I mean, it's right here, it says it's advisable for you to have an NVIDIA card on your computer to use this application. Otherwise, running this on your CPU might just be very, very slow. So what I did was I went over to Blender and then I decided to try out the very small stuff. What we have here is uh, Susan and it was just a very tiny animation of Susan spinning all the way from here and you know, doing all of this bouncy effect. And after this was done, exported this as an MP4 file and then tried to run this app. So once you simply pop this app open, the first things which you notice is the interface looks very, very simple. So right here is where you can import your files and here is where you get to render your output frame. I also noticed that this doesn't do so much with sequence files, so you have to actually export this as MP4. So once you export it as MP4, bring it right here. You can choose the output type that you want. For example, if you want to get motion vectors, you can see like right here, we have the motion vectors and you can scroll through this timeline. And actually this is the timeline, but for some reason, the response time is a little bit slow. So you can take a look at the motion vectors and then you can also take a look at the normalized motion vectors. Now, depending on what you would like to get at the end of the day, one thing which I would also love to see is a playback button. I mean, moving the frames is all good, but a playback button would have been really nice. So you can just press a playback button and see what the result looks like. So I tried out a couple of things, press the space bar, press the enter key, all of that stuff, none of these things work. And you know, you can simply just go back and forth with this. Now with this said, within the blood threshold is where you can play with the blood threshold and you can see a lot of these things in action once you look at them from the motion blow point of view. And then you can increase the blow force, you can also increase the blow strength 
and also smooth for interpolation between different frames you can simply keep these things as easing or you can set it as linear or ease out now once you have all these things figured out you can go ahead and hit render and render the video now this rendering doesn't really cost so much as it takes only a little time for it to happen but other things which i would also love to see in an improved version of this as this app seems to be growing daily and you know there's a couple of updates coming to it every single day i would love to see some sort of progress bar so you can tell when things are happening and how things are going once you hit the render button right here is where you're going to see your gpu and right over here is where you see your output type so you can output this as either png or sequences and once that renders you can simply go in there and double click the file open it up so that you can see what it looks like now you might have also noticed that this looks a bit different from what we finally rendered because what we rendered here so i'm just going to bring this one up what we rendered here is a much more clearer image compared to what we have here which is the finally rendered image you could see the size all right so i think this is also something else i guess it's a bit of a discrepancy as well so i think it's something else that uh you get to see when you're working with this so from this part you notice that the file size let's go over the details the file size is 1920 by 1080 but right here it's about 500 and something so let's see what we have here and right here you see we have the 960 by 540 so just in case you want to get into this territory of working with these two these are the things that you need to keep in mind now if you would like to render the motion blur you can set this to motion blur hit the render button and then wait for this to render and right here it also renders that it doesn't create a new one it just simply renders on top of what it has existing and something else which i like to ask from the developers is as much as this tool is beautiful and nice it would be nice to get you know uh, different sequences so if you render as an individual sequence we need to get something like maybe underscore one underscore two so that you can tell that you have multiple files or multiple variations of the same file rendered so in case of comparisons you can easily make those comparisons as you can actually do them right here so good enough this is a beautiful tool that you can grab it's for free you can go ahead and grab it and a huge shout out to gabriel potesh for making this possible meanwhile the same folks that made this possible are the same folks that made the dane app so the dane app is also another app that you can get from their store and uh, right here this dane app is for you to get smoother transitions and you know get some smoother interpolations so just in case you have a footage and you want to have a smoother interpolation between them them, you can actually use this and you know play with it now this is also something that you can get i guess they have a github release so you can also get the source code on github and i guess you can also get the application right here on the google drive of course this is not available right now but you can also get this one right over here so for those who like to play with this one i mean if you want to make a purchase and own the app you can pay for this right here but if you would like to grab it for free you can actually go over to github grab this one for free and get good with it so this is more like it beautiful things coming right here a huge shout out to the folks at gRisk for making this one possible and of course if you would like to play with this you can simply go over to the link in the description download this and get started with it and for those looking for models that they can experiment with maybe you're looking for some beautiful models you want to experiment with it then you should consider taking a look at our sponsors sketchfab so sketchfab is a wonderful place on the internet where you can get some beautiful 3d models so in case you're looking for free 3d models you can simply go over to explore go to downloadables and you would find tons of beautiful free models that you can use to do some experimentation do some cool rendering save yourself time and of course use the flow of blur to get that motion blur that you're looking for now for those who are also excited about selling their models online or you want to purchase some cool models you can definitely do all of these things in sketchfab as sketchfab is a wonderful place where you can preview your assets preview your models even before you commit to purchase or even setting these things up for sale so right here you can see that they have this beautiful webgl viewer which can actually help you preview your models right here as you proceed so for those looking for cool stuff you want to sell buy or maybe download free models directly here on the internet then sketchfab is the right place for you to go to meanwhile the folks at sketchfab are still doing the alien landing challenge so in case you want to test these things out you want to join this challenge then of course you can definitely go over to the link in the description and take a look at the blog challenge and see if you will be one of the top winners and join the challenge so link to this is going to be in the description where you will be able to win some beautiful prizes and of course you can join the community of artists and actually level up your skill 
Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.